Hello everyone, welcome to Nepaltech. So in today's video, I'll be talking about arithmetic operators in cell or base. So talking about arithmetic operator, there are multiple types of arithmetic operators, which include addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo. So as we already know, addition and our subtraction, okay, multiplication and division and modulo. So this will be my percentage. So where is my percentage? So this is my percentage. So <coughs> here we can see the various arithmetic operators in cell or base. And I'll be going to my server and we'll be seeing the arithmetic operators and their uses as well. So let me go here and let me create a file gedit operator dot sh. So this will be my file and inside this bin slash bash. So I'm using bash as my cell to run the execution commands. So I'll be creating two variable with name a and b. So, okay, a will be 10 and b will be 20 for now. And cell arithmetic operation. So we are running cell a r i t h m e t i c o p e r a t i o n s. So this will be the comment section and we'll store this in a value so val equals to expr dollar a plus dollar b so this will be just the addition of the so we'll be echoing a d d i t i o n addition a plus b gives us dollar v a l so let's check let me save this file and i'll be giving this permission first okay so dot slash operator dot assets okay so looks like our value has not been printed so okay let me go back to my editor here and we'll be checking here okay so as we can see here the value is been uh, 10 plus 20 gives us 30 so here we can see the value 30 is getting printed but we can see that it must be printed according to the line on the proper formatting so for that let me do one thing let me edit it once again get it our operator dot assets and inside this i'll be adding some section here so this will be my plus and i'll be adding it inside a bracket and a plus b let me do this as well and let me save this and let's run this once again so let me run the operator dot sh and inside this a plus b so why the 30 is being printed up so let me get back to it once again and let me check it here. okay basically this is the thing there's it no error here so let me go here and let me add one section as well so this is the arithmetic operation for addition so this represents the addition operator as addition arithmetic operator and inside this here we can see it had successfully added 10 and 20 and give us the result 30 so let me again add expr and it will be dollar a minus dollar b and i am writing this for echo so this is for my minus arithmetic operation. So this refers to S U B T R A C T I O N, and this will be a minus b gives us the value. Dollar v a l will be the value. So let me save it. Let me close this and let me run this once again. And here you can see the subtraction will give us minus 10. So what basically it is doing is so since I had my value of a, which is 10 and value of b which is 20 and 10 minus 20 will obviously give us minus 10 so this is the output there so let me add the other arithmetic expression as well so val equals to expr dollar a into dollar b so this will be my variable and i'll be equating this multiplication this so this is my multiplication m u l t l t i p l i c a t i o n so multiplication will be denoted as my a into b and for this our value a into b and for this our value will be dollar v a l so 
let me save this and let me close this and let me run this once again okay in the multiplication here we can see syntax error unexpected argument desktop start multiplication so let's see what might be the issue here so so in this file as you can see here on my so yes basically this star has also a different meaning on uh, our one to machine so basically this will also represent the all file so for this we need to basically do what is we need to provide backslash b so this will be working fine so previously what it was showing as unexpected argument so now after adding that backslash in front of multiplication so here we can see 200 so 10 into 20 gives us 200 so this is also working perfectly fine so let me go back to this once again so here what we'll also be doing is we'll also be doing for the multiplication as well expr dollar a and my division will be dollar b and let me echo so this i am doing for my division so this will be my division and a by b gives us dollar val and let me save this let me close this file and let me run this once again so here we can see okay so eco division dollar val unexpected token so looks like i missed something okay so the epistrophe has been missing here so let me save this once again let me close this and let me clear the screen once okay so let's do this and let's see so division division a by b gives us zero so is that the right so since my a 10 by 20 must have a value so it's showing zero so i think this okay let's try it with by dollar b by dollar a so for this let's go here and let this be dollar b and we are dividing dollar b with dollar a so this is b by a let me save this let me close this and let's run this once again so here we can see division b by a so b is 20 and a is 10 so 20 divided by 10 will give me the 2 as a divisor so this is the basic thing for the division arithmetic as well so now we'll be going with the or sorry the modulo as well so let's see how modulo works okay so for the modulo let me come back to my editor and i'll be doing val a e x p r and this will be my dollar b modulo and my dollar a and i'll also be doing echo so this is for my modulo so let me write it m o d u l o modulus or modulus anything you pronounce so b percentage a is gonna give me dollar v a l so this is the basic thing that we need to do and let me save this and let me exit out of it and let me go back to here and run this so modulus here we can see the modulus is showing the zero value here and okay so here we can see modulus is giving us the value zero so for that let me go back to here and let me go here itself and let me clear the screen let me do get it updater.ss and what i'll be doing is i'll be doing a modulus b so that the formatting will be correct since uh, the earlier lib left no modulus so the value was not printing so now we can see the 10 as the modulus value of this and also what we can do is let me go back here and let me go to this and we can also see if else condition to this as well so for this we have a condition if if and our dollar a value is equals to dollar b what we can do is okay so let me go back to here and then we can echo the numbers are eq equal so let me close the if statement and what we can do is if so it will only run if a and b are equal and if uh, our a and b value are not equal so dollar a is not equals to so is not equals to dollar b what we need to print then then okay echo the numbers are not eq u a l 
okay so let me end the if statement as well so let me save the file and let me run this once again so again there is a 10 operator dot assets so let's see what happened here okay so here i think i must give a proper spacing here so let me see this once again so the numbers are not equal so if the numbers were equal the this will be printing the numbers are equal so for this if i want to keep the both numbers same so for example a is 10 and i want to place the b value as 10 as well so let me save this so now the okay let me clear this screen first and okay i do not want to run this command i want to run this cell script so here we can see the output error the number are equal so in this way we can run the if statement as well in our bash or cell scripting so basically these are the arithmetic operations that we can do using cell or bash scripting so basically we check the addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus as well and we also check the if statement as well so in the further video i'll all again be regarding it to if statement as well so please stay tuned and thank you for today